So I think 2023 was a year where the world woke up to the possibility of these systems becoming increasingly capable and increasingly general. But GPT-4, I think, is best understood as a preview. And it was more over the bar than we expected of utility for more people in more ways. But, you know, it's easy to point out the limitations. And again, we're thrilled that people love it and use it as much as they do. But this is, progress here is not linear. And this is the thing that I think is really tricky. Humans have horrible intuition for exponentials, at least speaking for myself, but it seems like a common part of the human condition. Um, what does it mean if GPT-5 is as much better than GPT-4 as 4 was to 3 and 6 is to 5? And what does it mean if we're just on this trajectory now? Um, what, uh, you know, on the question of regulation, I think it's great that different countries are gonna try different things. Some countries will probably ban AI. Some countries will probably say no guardrails at all. Both of those I think will turn out to be suboptimal and we'll, we'll get to see different things work. But as these systems become more powerful, um, as, they, as they become more deeply integrated into the economy, as they become something we all use to do our work, and then as things beyond that happen, as they become capable of discovering new scientific knowledge for humanity, even as they become capable of doing AI research at some point, um, the world is gonna change more slowly and then more quickly than, than we might imagine, but the world is gonna change. 